But anyway, these two players know each other better than probably anyone else. This is some friendly fire, I'd, I'd you say. Yeah, for sure it is. And, you know, this isn't too early for them to be playing, though, and I'm sure they both have the respect and going to do their best here. Right now, ZD taking a strong lead, 42% on the board. I am so impressed with, this, with ZD's Fox. He is such a patient player. He, he just does Fox right. Oh, yeah. This is a man who gets, like, you know, top 32 at majors and things like that. He doesn't get to travel too often, but I promise you if he did, he would be, you know, right up there with, like, Light and Larry Lur. Yeah, like, he's not doing anything just, like, absurdly technical or crazy. He's just making all the right decisions. Oh, yeah, he is a very strong neutral, and that's what really helps him out. Fox benefits so hard off of good neutrals. Fast boy. Yeah, absolutely. All right, using that banana to his benefit, too. He's the first person we've seen today to actually use that banana in a constructive way. Everyone yeah. else sort of looked like they were just taking hits for touching it. Oh, they just grab it or try to get it away from them as fast as possible. Yeah. ZD is not like that. He welcomes the banana. Yikes, the up tilt to back yeah. air. <laughs> that was Clean nice. That was nice. Control the banana, too, but immediately going to back air him for it. Don't touch my banana, Diddy Kong says. Down tilts. Uh-oh, he's going to have to. Oof. All right, the up B doesn't actually uh, hinder him too badly. Oh, no. That forward air just lasts forever. Yes. Nice. Yeah, he met him out there with the forward air and then came back out for the back air. That's how you got to contest Fox off stage. You just throw something out, anything. <laughs> yeah, just, just knock to, him away as much as you can until you, you can set up the fire You just have to keep him from getting on stage. Right. He's so dangerous on stage. Oh, he wanted okay. everything. Okay. Oh, no. Are you? Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Fox McMagnet hands. Yeah. What? <laughs> He's doing a good job right now keeping himself alive. I mean, Siegel tried to go for the craziest thing you've ever seen. But instead, ZD right now working him with these up tilts and just expertly jumps over that banana, too. ZD taking the first uh, kind of anxious. Uh -oh. Ooh. It's so scary because it's like you want to air dodge. You don't want to get hit by the up air. But, you know, ZD will just put you in that situation instead. And are you ready to get up smashed? I, I, I did not see that coming at all. <laughs> He, dra he dragged him down with the forward air and up smash. Oh, yeah, that, that's the ZD special. So it, was, it was fully techable, but I don't even think Seagull Joe is ready for that. It's the, the way he does it, man. He's so fast with it. I don't need. Wait, can you tech out of that? Out of the drag down forward air? You oh, wow. You can, you can. You can? Oh, okay. But I don't. I mean, you got to be ready for it. It's a very tough one. To yeah, tech. you got to be the quickest. It's like teching Mario's neutral air, Pikachu's uh, down there or something. Like, if it's a really tough tech situation. Yeah. But if you're not ready for it, it's going to hurt. But here we go into game two, and we're on FD this time around. No platforms or anything in the way. It's just going to be good, solid neutral versus neutral. Wait, last game was FD too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, okay, well, yeah. So <laughs> I guess that's like, how they like to do it. like Siegel wants to run it back, which I don't think is a bad idea. Um, he did well against ZD offstage. Plus, yeah, you don't want to give ZD platforms, in my opinion. He just works you over so hard with those, resetting his combos easily. Oh, it's like yeah, uh, that, that's it. That's where it is. Come on, <laughs> Firefox. He's basically asking. For Man, it. yeah, he gave him two opportunities to set him up with something bad off of that Firefox, but uh, Seagull Joe kind of retreated. Wanted to go grab his banana and set something else up. Uh, it's probably sm that's probably the smart thing to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but now he's off the. Oh Oof. no, back off the stage again. Uh, Going in with the monkey flip. I was fully ready to. I was fully ready to witness another curveball steal. Ooh, and he turned him ah. around with the banana. Yikes! Doesn't wow. matter though. Okay, Seagull adjusting really, really well this game. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I love the mix-ups in the air to try to land safely, but ugh, he accidentally landed on top of Z ZD, and that set up for all of that, and now he lost his stock. Really I mean, he had, such, he had such a promising lead there for a second, but now ZD is... He says, okay. All right, yeah. I got you. All right. Oh, man, he's going to get that up air, too. And back on the stage first, so, of course, he gets his punish here. Up tilt. He missed the up tilt right there. Yeah. Oh, a nice nair. Interesting. I love I love his near spacing. It's so good. Yeah, it almost looks like it's gonna launch out and like hit them when he puts yeah. it out there for a second. It just kind of lingers. That little foot is like. Oh, the banana combo into the nair. Little fox feet. Okay. Okay, the reverse on that mix up. Good ledge play by Seagull. Up tilt. Ooh. He read him from a mile Ooh. away. He just didn't have the timing to cover that monkey flip. Mm. Yeah, Seagull Joe does that so often. Anyone who's gonna know it, it's gonna be ZD. That was that could have been it right there. So many situations, yeah. Seagull, where just be all Seagull getting really nervous right now, as, as far as I can tell. Like, just throwing out all these somewhat unnecessary uh, side bees. It looks like he just wants to make something happen right away. I mean, he is kind of playing this smart, but it's just so hard to work around ZD's options. He, he's also just as smart. Oof. Oh, okay, here we go. This could be the opportunity. Oh, no. Wow, that's not okay. the spacing. He wanted to shine him, but oh, let's that go, is baby. what he gets. That's what he gets, and he knows it. All right. Both of them know it, because it's like, you don't go out there and try to shine someone. How <laughs> dare you? How, how dare you? How 
dare you? <laughs> and, yeah, Am and I then right? get dared. Like, <laughs> ah. exactly. Ah. <laughs> so good stuff on uh, Siegel recognizing the situation, actually getting the down air spike, clutching out game two. That was that was that was worth it. That's what I wanted. I've wanted to see that for so long now. We just had such a like. Yeah, are you happy? You got what you wanted. Such a shortage of spikes <laughs> this game. So this maybe there'll be more. Bad. Who knows? Game going on to Town City for Game Three, and you know, Seag or, uh, Seagull Joe probably didn't want to be here, but what can you do? Probably banned like Lila. I don't know. I always ban Lila, so I just assume. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Lila, that's, that's a devil stage. <laughs> stage is terrible. Agreed. All right, so using these monkey flips really well. I think he wanted a ledge cancel there, but didn't quite space it right. That's okay, though. It didn't take a punish whatsoever, so just moving expert expertly right now. Good fares. Uh-oh, these up airs, though. Man, both of them just trading. I'm like, he's going to get juggled, but no, the other one immediately just takes back over. Oh, okay, the jab. The reverse hit jab. Interesting. Uh, does, can anything come with that? That'd be kind of nuts. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Get that. Got that up tilt. I, I, I like the idea of using the neutral air instead of the uh, back air right there, because I don't think the back air would have connected just because right. of positioning. Uh-oh, the down tilt. <laughs> Not. Huh, I'm I guess trying he, to call it. Ooh. Yikes. He just he, turned that around Yeah, so he was going to call him out on oh, that side God. B, but instead calling Seagull Joe out with the up smash. My goodness. You need to get back on the stage safely, young man. And he does. He's got to play this carefully if he doesn't want to lose that stock right away. I mean, bringing yeah. things to even with Seagull Joe is very terrifying, as we saw in the last no game. No shame in laser camping uh, Diddy right now. No shame. We will not blame you. You just got to get that damage up. Uh-oh. Whoops. And, yeah, he's lucky he didn't die there. Like, he opted to just go in aggressively and immediately got punished for it. Man. Ah. Wow, just the jump back air, and it actually doesn't kill. Yeah, there was, like, no real danger in that situation. Oh my, oh my god, these up airs. You're eating a lot of damage right now, my god. And then the Nair, and he tried to fair him, but he perfect shot re-grab. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That would have been nice. I, if he had gotten that, my voice would have went too high. Okay, <laughs> good back air. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like screech. <laughs> Alright, so back on the stage here, and we're back to even with Seagull Joe. Like I said, it's not really where you want to be. I mean, the percents are in your favor, but still. It is Diddy. Diddy has a very good ledge game, and Fox has a very hard time getting back to stage once he's off. So, Right. Uh, All right, landing back down safely. He was stuck on that top platform for just a split second. Uh-oh, the up air. Ooh, no. If he had waited just a half a second. More. Right. All right, yeah, you got the banana in play. He definitely got the reaction he wanted. He just mistimed it. Yeah. Wow, he tried to read where Seagull Joe was going to be, but he was not in that spot for the up smash. He's not wrong, though. Seagull is rolling a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And that's going to be it with the forward smash. And that's another one of those moments that's like, you know these two players know each other so well because Seagull Joe had been coming on over top of people all game, as we saw, and nobody was yeah. really punching him for it. ZD, on the other hand, he he, he been new. You know, like he's known for a long that, time. That that was not a prediction. That was I've played with you so many times. I know you're going to do this, yep. so you're going to eat my forward smash. And sorry, bud. Love you, but uh, you're going to have to eat this. These biomechanical feet. <laughs> so are, gross. It's, it's so weird. Why would you? Why kind of cool, though, actually. Yeah, it is. Like, why is that part of the lore? <laughs> like, All right. <laughs> so game, wait, this is game three, four, I thought? Yeah, let me tell you. Star Fox lore at a party, that is, that is <laughs> some fun stuff. Sure, ZD can fill you in right now. He knows this character so well. Yep, this is game four. on Town <laughs> City, that's right. So he's going to kind of try to set this up. Uh, no. With the banana here. See, all the flashy things that I would think Fox would go for, ZD just doesn't do, but it's okay, because he just outpaces you everywhere else. Oh, trust me, this man can get some flashy stuff going, but I feel like versus uh, Seagull Joe, you don't want to overextend or go for anything too crazy. He's just going to do his bread and butter combos and get exactly oh what gosh, he needs to. Oh my gosh, the shine spike. Yeah, here he comes with that shine again, and will Seagull make him pay for it? Right now, down tilts the... Ee! Wanted a grab of, or a down air of his own. No connection, though. As far as, uh, as, far as justice goes... Seagull, you should make him pay for trying to shine spike you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the back air. Or you the back air. Yeah, it catches him super hard, jumping up high with that back air. Has he been very precise with these back airs to set? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with everything, honestly. Yeah. That but banana out of play right now, not exactly where Seagull Joe wants it to be. And you can see him, he was a little bit flustered for a second there, wanted to re-grab it, was misspacing it ever so slightly. All right, good forward air. So Another what you guys one. probably don't know is that Red Fox is Fox and Cloud's brother. He was just watching this match <laughs> in the background of Smash. Uh, I mean, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's there cheering for his brother, but now he's gone. So Seagull Joe has the advantage here. Maybe he can make this crazy comeback versus you bring ZD. that momentum back. Do it for your brother. Oh, man. This back and air is coming through. Do it for Red. Oh, <gasps> what was that? Oh, that, that was, was so, so nice. nasty. 
Oh, oh man. That Turning was so nasty. He didn't deserve to die that way. He really didn't. After such a close game, and you're going to go out. Oh, you, he, he just 